Hello, RMIT. Um, I'm sure at this point everyone understands the importance of how parameters are passed to functions and subroutines. This video explains the difference between parameters passed by value and by a reference. To better understand this difference, imagine that a child sees a toy in a store showroom and asks her mother to buy this toy. The mother doesn't purchase the toy in a display, but its exact copy. The process in which the child gets the toy in such a way emulates passing parameter by value. In other words, if this child breaks the toy, it has no effect on the original toy in a showroom. Now imagine a situation when the toy in the showroom is the very last toy of this type in the store. The child still wants it, and the salesperson agrees to lend the toy to the girl's mother. When, after a week, the mother brings the toy back, it is damaged, and the salesperson can no longer place it in the display. This situation emulates passing parameter by reference. If a parameter passed by reference to another function changes inside that function, then uh, its value is going to change inside the calling function as well. Let's illustrate this on a simple example. The function change numbers receives uh, two parameters as integers. The first one is passed by value, while the second one is passed by reference. The function is called from a subroutine where both integers are initialized to the same value of 5. Inside the function, both integers are incremented by the same amount, and we can clearly see that both integers have the same value of 10. However, when the control returns to the call in sub, the integer a that was passed by value is still the same. It's equal to 5. While the integer b has changed, it's now equal to 10, preserving the same value as it was given inside the change numbers function. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for listening.